from the floor of the CME Group. This is Danny Riley on today's Cash Close. And the name of this video, S&P 500 Greek Bushwhack. The high of the day in the S&P came at a 2049 even, going into the cash close. The low came in at 2031 even, late, and last, we're 2034 even, we're down 17 handles. Total volume, 1.7 million minis trade and 4,500 big S&Ps trade in the pit. MOC was to buy 790 million. Now look, we've got a lot of economic and earnings reports tomorrow. It starts out with the chain store sales number, Eric Rosengreen speaking from the Fed, the Challenger job cut report, the Gallup U.S. payroll to population number, the international trade number, jobless claims, productivity and cost, the EIA natural gas report, a three and a six month T-bill announcement, the Fed balance sheet, money supply, and a slew of earnings. And I want to thank everybody on Twitter for giving me all those big names, but you know, it's too kind of too hard to do with what happened on the close here today. Now look, let's talk a little bit about the way the price action went in, the, in, in throughout the day in the S&P. The S&P rallied a little bit and then it sold off. And then as it sold off and it started to bounce, you can see that there are buy programs going in on the half hour in the S&P. If you look at your charts, you'll see how the S&P would firming up, go firming up into the hour or into the half hour. Now, in the old days when a PIMCO or a, a big a Fidelity mutual fund would have big, you know, 800 million in stock to buy throughout the day, they would call either the floor or a broker, and that broker would piece those orders in throughout the day. Now, with electronic trading and these, these different types of execution platforms that are basically algorithms, these, these mutual funds just plug the, the total dollar amount into their, into their platform, their desired area of stocks that they want, and then that automatically buys those stocks on a timing basis throughout the day. I'm 100% sure that that's how it works. And that's exactly what we're seeing t today. Now, late in the day, the S&P I called for a nacho. A nacho is a, what I call new highs on the close. The S&P cooperated perfectly. But, lo and behold, I got bushwhacked, or the S&P got bushwhacked by the Greek headlines, the Greek ECB headlines. Now, this is kind of all falls in line with what I've been trying to talk about with you guys, that we're, we're, we're in a very volatile period here. And I don't think that this is, you know, even though the move was very, very sharp, I, I don't think this is really out of the ordinary for what's been going on around here. The markets did exactly what the pit bull has been talking about for many years, whether it be pushing the water in the bathtub to get the buy stops one way, or pushing the buy stops in the bathtub the other way to get the buy stops, or our old song, take out the buy stops, take out the sell stops, because that song rang loud and clear today. Now, I want to do a little shout out to one of my, one of my followers on uh, Twitter, and uh, JBL and M, you're 100% right. He put on Twitter that the name of this video should be don't do the crime if you can't do the time. And you know what? I can't agree more. But that said, I don't know who's going to do anything about this stuff. And I do appreciate your comments. But, you know, look, the, the, who could have guessed? The markets were going up full steam ahead. Everything looks great. And then, bam, out goes a headline. And you know who won on that? The algos won on that. The news algos won on that. Now, I have to ask you guys. Who in Europe is up at 10 o'clock releasing these headlines? Aren't you guys supposed to be in the pub drinking warm beers? What's going on around here? And then last but not least, I just want to remain to say one thing. I've remained non-committal on direction. And I've remained non-committal on, on direction because volatility is so high. I don't think that there's just a clear direction here. I think when the S&P gets a little bit oversold, there's a potential for it to go back up. I think when the S&P goes back up and it runs out buy stops and gets a little overbought, there's a potential for it to go back down. At the end of the day, you know what? We got a little bit of everything today. I'm going to leave it like that and I'll see you. Go oh, you know, one last little thing. I guess based on the way the S&P went out today, we can expect lower prices. But you know what? I'm not sure that we're not going to see another big bounce. So I'm going to leave it like that. We'll see you guys tomorrow on the opening print. Mm.